she and her personality and me and mine, I don't think it would work. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're on the farm picking some beans. All right, so we'll use this as an opportunity to talk a little bit about what it's like for them to live with their adult daughter and her husband. So we'll just start with some background. So tell me about what was life like for you guys when you guys lived in Omaha, the city. Well, it was more busy than now. We couldn't do things together like how we are doing it because Papa Jay would come in and uh, he doesn't see me because of my shift work. When I come, I don't see him. And when he comes, he doesn't see me. But now we are together, we can do things together. So I find it better. What about you, Papa G? What was your experience like? <laughs> was a busy schedule. Very busy. Leave at 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Somebody, when I, I have breakfast on the street, I don't really come home because she's not at home, she's at work. Then, when I come home, she come in already and cook and then gone back to work. Sometimes I don't see her. Sometimes I have to even write a note to remind him to do something because we can't see each other to talk. Because it was work, sleep, not, not much fun. Yeah, and that's church. And church. Basically, that was it. And what line of work were you in at the time, Papa G? Okay, I was doing tailoring at Nago Head and part time taxi work. Alright, so fast forward to now, 2024, living in the country, what is this life like now for you guys? Well, it's more relaxing. We get more time to spend together. We are on the same property every day. He's in the house, taking care of the household chores. I got my breakfast fixed. And then she, if I'm not close by the house working, because I wake up early and start working, I she would call me on, the, on my phone and I would come for breakfast. So if I left the phone, she would come and get me. Okay, so it sounds like things are a lot more organized and structured for you guys. And it affects your worship and like, on the worship together. Do you see a difference between then and now? Yes, it has improved a lot because before we didn't have morning worship as we are to because we, we are not always together. He's at work. When I wake up, I do my lesson and then she would come in after or sometimes she do a double shift and I'm alone until maybe two o'clock and she came home and we gone to bed because she's tired. Yeah, but now and we get some sleep. But yeah. now we have worship morning yeah. and evening. Right. That right. sounds very good. Man. That's excellent. Right. Yeah, these are some cucumbers that we planted. Papa G planted them for me. I do the weeding and the reaping. Yesterday we went to the market and we sold them. And we are enjoying life. God is good. Being in the country, it's very, very relaxing. You know, right here we have pineapple. We have pineapples coming. Yes. Yes. This one is ready, ready to eat. All right. All right. What is it like to live with Stasia, your eldest child? It's good. But at first, I was saying that I, I wouldn't want to live with no children because children need their own space and with she and her personality and me and mine, I don't think it would work. But after living for a while and being a Christian, things change 
and work out much better. So what are some of the things that you think have improved? And some of the things that you were worried about, you mentioned about the personality, strong personality, and that you guys have similar personality. So there must have been some sort of crashes of personality there. But how, how did you guys make things work out? Well, we, first what we did, we, we came and uh, we rented place together before. So we, we realized that, you know, it can work. And then the two family coming together, when we have our family meetings, we realize that um, it's, it's better. It's better than one person, one family coming to the country. So the two of us coming together, we put resources together, we put, put plans together, and then we work and we execute and we realize that this is the way forward. This is what God wanted for us. Okay, sounds good. During that time, I fell ill. And if she wasn't there, I would have to go to the hospital, but she take care of me so I didn't have to go to the hospital. And when you look at those things, you say, well, if she's there and we have a good relationship, things can work. And with God in the family, things can work out the way we would like it to go. All things are possible. And I understand that she had a different idea as to what she wanted the property to look like in terms of, especially closer to the house. Yes. Can you share a little bit on that? He wanted a very huge yard space and nothing should be planted too close to the house. But Except for what? Flowers again? Flowers. So I said, flowers alone can maintain nobody because you're not planting it to sell, you're not planting it to eat. So I have to plant something. So I went ahead and go and plant planting and banana close to the house. <laughs> and when she came, she said, so far. Yeah, because she, <laughs> I'm she is like a bullbuck and the conquer, you know. And whatever she say must go. But we just allow her to talk because she will listen. And when she come down, she, she, she will admit that, boy, her way is not, is, is not the right way, so. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And these planting shoot and be a banana as we reap them and eat them. And you got the banana over there and you have sugar cane. This is another bun bunch of banana. So it's ready to cook, but I'm gonna ripe it. Okay. And it's this very was, close to the house, guys. Yes. Go and throw away. And one of the things why he, he, Papa G said he wants he want it near to the house. Now he said if rain is falling and you have to, you don't have to go down to the farm to get something. You just, you just can just right. step outside and cut a banana and, you know. And you, here. Right. Right now we have at least five bunch of banana shoot right here. A bunch of planting and some other planting so shoot within the next month or so. And this is a, a pangana tree that I planted since we came here, started to be here now. Otherwise known as pomegranate. Yes, yeah, see yeah, there, like start to be here. So, and now she, she's not saying anything. She loved the idea of having the fruit trees and the bananas near the house. So, you see, it's not a problem anymore. Right, right. More than all, what I enjoy in the country is my little granddaughter, you know? It's so much of a fun to be around her. She make us feel younger. She make us happy. And I'm just waiting for the rest of grandchildren to come. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. So we talk about living with Stasia. Now Stasia is married. So what, what is it like to live with her husband? It's simply it's like we get along from the first day. We had no problem with Shian. He's, he's just a wonderful person. And to live with him, anybody can live with him. If you can't live with him, there's, you can't live with nobody on <laughs> <laughs> All right, that sounds good. What about you, Mama G? Wow, Sean is my son. He's not my son-in-law. And Stasia is more like a daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say no more. Right. So what advice do you guys have for people who are living in the town who wants to move to the country, they may have family, they may not have family. Um, what kind of advice would you give them? 
what what advice I would give them if you don't have nobody to talk to, you need to get in onto a page like country living page. Learn, learn from what other people does and get the best ideas that you see or that you think is feasible to you because country living it it, it takes a lot. Yeah. Because you have to have the land and you have to build on it. You, have, you don't have to build a big house to start. You just need some place to stay and then you work the farm or the field, whatever it is. And if you have money, you build your house, build a tank. You need all the facilities that you have in the developed area because country, not because it's country, you need good place to live. And you need to live good just the same. It's only that in the country, you can plant your own food. You're more independent. Yeah, it costs less to survive in the country. Right. And if you can get off the grid after a while, you do so. And of course, the most important reason to come out is for your character building yes. as well, you know. So, Pamaji, what do you have to say about those who are in the town and want to come out? What advice do you have? I would say, yeah, I would say to them, especially if you are a Christian, it would be good to go to the nearest church in your community, in the community that you are going to live. That you think, and, and first, if you buy somewhere, seek somewhere to buy, make sure you know you ask about the community first. Don't just run into the community, into our community, right? And so, because I like that place, I'm going to go there, but make sure you do some investigations and have a have, have some church brethren so that will rally around you most of all if you could get somebody who can um, come along with you don't go by yourself have have support and plant up the place before you go so that when you live on it you have food to reap and country, build, country living is character building you go out every day and you farm and it shows you that as the weed come it shows you that there's things in your life that you need to get rid of and so over and over you have to do the same thing over and over just like how we have to pray over and over and talk to God to forgive us of our sins it's a very good and great experience we love it we are enjoying it and we want you to share, like, like. and subscribe. All right. Thank you. Thank you.